determine the image of the point A, negative 4, 3, after undergoing the transformation described by x prime is y minus 2x and y prime is x plus 3y. Now, we're going to do this with a matrix method, obviously. I mean, I could just substitute in, but I want to show you how to do it with a matrix. So we write our matrix transformation equation. x prime, y prime is something times the old x, y. Well, x primed is 1y minus 2x. So we're going to read this matrix like this to get the new x coordinate. And the new y coordinate is going to come like this. So y primed is going to be 1x plus 3y. So this is my transformation matrix. So if I now have a point, I can go A primed is going to be negative 2, 1, 1, 3 times A's original coordinates, negative 4 and 3. And that's going to give me the new x coordinate for A is going to be 8 plus 3 is 11. And the new y coordinate is going to be negative 4 plus 9, which is 5. Now, suppose I have to do the same thing for more than one point. Obviously, I could just do this four times. But there is a quicker way. There's a way to write less, and if you're using technology to do it, you could actually do it in less time. Let me show you. So, I have my transformation equation, and normally I would write x prime, y prime, is whatever my matrix was times x, y. That's all well and good, but I've got four points to do, and I'm going to be writing a lot to do that four times. But I can do it in one go. The key is noticing that each time I'm getting a column. If I had more columns in this matrix, I would get multiple columns as I did my multiplication. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to go my matrix 1, negative 1, 0, 2. It's a bit of a messy matrix. Times by A's coordinates, B's coordinates, C's coordinates, and D's coordinates. And then in one matrix multiplication, I'm going to get 0, 0. Origin hasn't moved. 2 plus 0. Oh, actually, I was going across, but maybe I should go down so you can see each coordinate forming at a time. Let me go down instead. 0, 0. Origin hasn't moved. That is A, a primed. Let's do B. 2, 0. And the y coordinate, 0, 0. So b primed hasn't moved either. What about c? c's coordinates, 2, take 2, is 0. And the y coordinate, 0, 4. That's c primed. All right, let's try d. 0, negative 2, and 0, 4. And that's D primed. Given how my question was written, I would actually write it out. So A primed is 0, 0. B primed is 2, 0, 0, 2. Then C primed is 0, 4. And D primed is negative 2, 4. So where has that square actually ended up? Let's quickly sketch. It was here. 
should have used a different colour, shouldn't I? That was A, uh, B was two zero, B, C, D. This is also A primed and this is also B primed. But C primed is zero, four. That's C primed. And D primed is negative two, four. D primed. So my square, I will get another colour, now goes A prime, B primed, uh, C primed, D primed. It's no longer a square. It's now a parallelogram.